It's deadline day and it's Caribou Cup semi-final day. And anything could happen. I am expecting things to happen here on deadline day, but I'm going to do my best to not allow that to happen. What a day this is promising to be. Can we manoeuvre this safely and successfully? Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to Norwich Part 44 Season 6 in the Ferguson Safe set in the future. And as you can see from the table, we're doing really well. And we have played 26 games and we have 61 points. We are three points ahead of Chelsea. And so we are on course at the moment, at this point in time, to retain the Premier League, which would be our prime objective for this season. If we can do that, we will take ourselves above 500 points. And that would mean that the save would be almost complete. And we only then need to win the treble in the coming six seasons. And you can also see that we are just beginning deadline day and we have to play our Caribou Cup semi-final second leg against Arsenal during the shenanigans of transfer window deadline day. And I have got several players wanted and there are rumours surrounding Clark Pook and Matic and one or two others. And so I will have to keep my eye firmly on the transfer window as well as preparing for this away trip to Arsenal and then in our second game of the day today we will be away at West Ham and they are just in ninth position but every game I feel at the moment is becoming a threat but we do need to maintain a three-point gap at the top of the league as we go towards the business end of the season but before we get into all that shenanigans that's been happening on and off the pitch, if you are brand new to the channel and you love FM content and you love to see people suffer playing this game, well, I can tell you something, you're in the right place. So why not subscribe, like, watch, comment, do all that good stuff and help the channel to grow and help us to support the British Heart Foundation. Our recent form against Arsenal has not been great and I am wondering if now is the time to change and as a result to become less attacking against Arsenal and maybe we could go and change to the shapeshifter, the 4-3-3 tactic. I'm not sure that it's a good move at this point in time. I'm yet to make a decision on how to play against Arsenal. I do know that we have been struggling to beat them of late. And I think that if we play in the same style that we have been, Arsenal might get the better of us. It may now be time to change once again. But as I've said, I'm yet to make a decision on whether that is the right thing to do today. I will take some time out during the course of the day to think that through. But let's have a quick look at what has happened on the pitch since you were last with us. And when you were last with us, you saw us beating Leicester by three goals to nil following that win away at Manchester United by the same score. We then went on to beat Brighton by five goals to nil, but that was followed by a very odd nil-nil draw at home to Brentford in the FA Cup third round. I think we had 39 shots at goal and couldn't score with one of them. We then followed that with the first leg of the Caribou Cup semi-final at home to Arsenal and only managed a 1-1 draw and that was followed by a 3-0 home victory against Sunderland. Against Real Madrid we surprised everybody and we beat Real Madrid at home by four goals to two. Maybe it wasn't such a big surprise as Real Madrid were only in 20th in the Champions League at the time but it was a surprise to me to beat Real Madrid by four goals to two. We had to come from two goals to nil down. And then in the FA Cup third round replay against Brentford we managed to overcome them quite safely by three goals to one. And then finally, the biggest shock of the Champions League so far, we went away to Leipzig and we beat Leipzig by three goals to one. And that means that we finished in second in the group phase in the Champions League. And we won't have to play in the playoffs now. We will go straight to the round of 16, which will occur in March, I think, which gives us a bit of breathing space between now and and then and the last game that we played was away at Blackburn and we managed to beat them quite comfortably 
by four goals to nil. And if I look at our form throughout January and the fact that we didn't play particularly well at home to Arsenal in the first leg, I am considering now that this might be the right time to change formation again, become a little bit less attacking and try to outfox Arsenal as we go into the EFL Cup, the Caribou Cup, semi-final, second leg. And for our second game, there's a bit of a glitch in the game and we are not sure exactly now who we will be playing because we actually have two games on the same day. The game has scheduled us to play in the FA Cup fourth round against Chelsea or West Ham or we will be playing in the Premier League away at West Ham. We don't know which one it's going to be yet. I'm not sure the game knows which one it's going to be yet. It will be unfair if we have to play two games on the same day. But I'm sure as we go into the second week of this episode, that will become a little bit clearer. And in terms of transfers, the big news is that Barcelona are considering putting together a bid of 59 million for Clark Pook. And that will be a shame if he has to leave. But he does want to go, I think, and it will be difficult to keep him against his will. We do have players who can come in and I don't like reacting to transfers. I would rather do transfers first because what it could mean is that if I let Clark Poot go, then players might not agree to come in to Norwich. It's going to be a very busy, busy day today. I'm going to get on, plough my way through deadline day, hope for the best. And if anything happens, we'll come back and we will let you know exactly what has occurred. And so we will see you very soon when we have some news to update you with. And with eight hours to go, nothing much seems to have happened. It is time to update you with what has happened so far in the transfer market. We did have to sell Eric Bonilla. He went out to Tottenham for 56 million. We got 42 and a half million up front for him. That has made a great big difference to our wage budget deficit. And we've brought in a young lad who I'm going to call Matic because his surname is extremely difficult to pronounce. And he's a young kid. He's 22 years old. He's a very physical centre-back. We are going to play him as a no-nonsense centre-back. He's very physical. He has decent mentals for a centre-back. A good positioning, good concentration, good anticipation and bravery. He's good in the air, although his jumping reach is not fully developed yet. I think he's going to go on and do a very nice job for us. We paid £25.5 million for him, but I think he's won for the future. And so that is the update at the moment in terms of what has been happening in the transfer window. We will be right back with any further news. And despite the media predictions that today was going to be very busy for Norwich in the deadline day transfer melee, nothing has happened. And with just three hours to go now, we have to go and get our heads around a game against Arsenal, the second leg of the Caribou Cup semi-final. Can we get to the final? Would be nice, but I'm not pinning all my hopes on the cup competitions this year. The league is my priority. So without further ado, Let's go and kick some balls. And so the team for today against Arsenal in the second leg of the Caribou Cup semi-final is Prescott in goal. He is our cup goalkeeper, so he does get the nod with Muntian, Raguin, Rahim and Plantier at the back. Flores, Puk and Ibaran in midfield with Aranda, Zaprapoulos and Wilden up front. I don't know if we can win this. I don't think we are good enough. Arsenal are a very, very pacey team. As per usual, these big teams have very, very fast attacking players. And we have put the line back a little bit. And hopefully, though, we will get a good result here today. As long as we don't get annihilated, I'll be quite happy. The Cups are not what my focus is this season. My focus 
is on winning the Premier League, retaining the Premier League. It's much more important to me than any cup competition this season. And it is Arsenal who have the first highlight and it's long, goes long forward. And because we have this line pulled back, we deal with that quite easily. Reguan finds Rahim. Rahim, who's uh, developed very well in his first year, has become a four-star player. And that's a lovely pass to Aranda. Aranda's in. Can he score? It's cleared off the line. It comes out to Zaprapoulos. Zaprapoulos looking to get the ball into the box. He he can't. It's cleared. And Arsenal survive. We have made the better start to the game today. We have had the chances and we've had the highlights. And we do have a throw in and it's long up the line looking for a random, but he can't get hold of it. And here come Arsenal. Arsenal looking to catch us on the counter-attack with that pace. And we have managed to intercept that long ball again. We're playing quite nicely. The tactic seems to be working again. Have I confused Arsenal by changing things up again? And here is Zaprapoulos. Zaprapoulos looks for Muntian. Muntian finds Reguan. Reguan into Wilden. Wilden with a lovely pass out there to Zaprapoulos. Can he get a crossing? Can he get to the byline? He looks behind. Finds Ibaran. Ibaran. Getting into the box, looking for the cross. He pulls it back instead. It comes out to Flores. Flores into the box, into Pook. Playing it around, but Arsenal are defending extremely well. Putting us under pressure. It comes out to Reguan. Reguan finds Flores. This is nice football. And Wilden is in. Can Wilden break the deadlock? He can't. It's cleared off the line again. Are we going to be just unlucky today we've been putting Arsenal under all kinds of pressure we've been the better team I think we've had the highlights although it's a very even competition we need to win this long ball again which we've done and we have managed to win it in midfield but we've given it away Arsenal are coming forward Arsenal are looking to break us down down the right hand side and they are into space they are setting themselves up that's a good tackle but Arsenal are in an Arsenal will score. Arsenal have taken the lead, I think, against the run of play. The referee, I think, is going to check VAR. I have a funny feeling he was onside. It's just, I think, not going to be our year in the Cups. And although we've had two shots cleared off the line, the goal is disallowed, though. And it does remain nil-nil, which is... Probably just about right. We've just about edged this, I think, and Arsenal were about a yard and a half offside. And we do need to be careful, though. We've had all the match momentum, but Arsenal are still coming forward, and we need to be very careful, and that's nicely intercepted. Zaprapoulos picks the ball up. He's on a yellow card. Need to tell him to ease off the tackles. Looking inside. That's a lovely pass back to Zaprapoulos. Where did he come from? Zaprapoulos fires it straight at the goalkeeper we're going to tell Zaprapoulos to ease off the tackles now I don't want him getting into trouble getting sent off and at the moment it's still nil nil it's very very close here we've had the better of the game the better of the chances Arsenal have put the ball in the net and had a goal disallowed but we've had two off the line it's very very close very nervy it could go either way but we are defending their pace quite well and we have won the ball have we no Arsenal have managed to steal the ball here they come down the left hand side this time looking to get it into the box but well intercepted again but Arsenal have picked up the loose ball we are in trouble here Arsenal with a long shot and that's a good save by Prescott Prescott who's got his place as the cup goalkeeper today it's a big risk we wanted to play goats but we decided at the end of the day we don't want to upset Prescott as well and he does want more playing time it is his competition so give him the game and here is Poop Poop he looks inside for Flores. Flores with a ball over the top looking for Aranda. Aranda in space and that is not offside. And Aranda has put us a goal up. And I think quite justified as well. It's Arsenal nil. Norwich won. Are we going to get to the Caribou Cup final? What a pass it was. And Flores with a beautiful ball found Aranda. And he's not going to miss from there. Arsenal backed off him. And just before half-time, we've made it Arsenal nil, Norwich 1. 
I expect Arsenal to come out all guns blazing in the second half and it's important that we stay focused. <laughs> and I think I don't need to make any changes. Everybody seems to be playing reasonably well. I want Mundian to play a little bit better, I think. So we're going to tell Mundian you've not been good good enough so far. And we'll get on with the second half. And let's hope that we can build on that. Arsenal are looking more tired than we are. And we hope can make take advantage of that. And uh, we are conceding too many free kicks. So we have removed the get stuck in. And I think probably now it's time to go and make a couple of changes. Arsenal are tiring. And the game is petering out. Let's go and make some changes. But Arsenal will do it after this highlight. As Arsenal are coming forward. Looking forward for Aranda. Arsenal have a chance. They are looking to get it into the box. Ibaran looks like he's picked up a knock. And that's a lovely tackle, but it's fallen to Arsenal again. It is one of these games, and I've got a funny feeling here. Is it going to be the equaliser? It is the equaliser. The referee's going to check for offside again, and I've got a funny feeling he might just have sneaked ahead of his defender there. Is it going to be disallowed? I'm hoping he did just go a little too early. The goal is awarded, unfortunately, and it is now. Arsenal won, Norwich won, it's all square on the night. We have to go and make some changes now. I did say Arsenal would come back at us. They've been the better team in the second half. And I think now it's time to go and make some changes. And so we have made our five changes. And can we go and win this game? We are looking a bit fresher than Arsenal. And I'm hopefully that extra stamina that we've got now can make the difference and if we've won the ball and there's a chance and it's a great save and the ball goes out for a corner the referees decided it's a goal kick and it is still Arsenal one Norwich one is it going to go down to penalties who knows or are Arsenal about to win the game in the dying minutes and there's a header it's cleared out we need to press them need to close them down but Arsenal are looking like they are the better team at the moment and we are tiring. We're not cutting cutting out their passes. We're not do, looking very good at the moment. Arsenal are coming forward. It will be a tragedy if we lose this. We've give, put in everything we had. Was it the right decision to change the tactic? Now I'm thinking I very much doubt it because Arsenal have taken the lead. The goalkeeper made an absolute howler of an error there. Two decisions that we made possibly have cost us this game. And I'm, yeah, very disappointed in Prescott. He's made an absolute howler there. It was a nothing ball and he should have made that his. He stopped. He didn't come for it and paid the price and we have to go attacking now have to try and win this game and it is now Arsenal 2 Norwich 1 it is game over now we we gave it our best shot it wasn't to be this year I'm not too disappointed unfortunately we've been let down by two errors and if you make errors like that Arsenal have slightly edged it although our edge xg is far superior we just haven't taken our chances again and if you don't take your chances then you don't win football matches and Arsenal now have finally buried the game it's Arsenal 3 Norwich 1 I am not happy with these boys in the second half it's been an absolute disaster that goal has been disallowed but it's too late for anything to happen now unfortunately it wasn't going to be our day we don't need to see the replay again and that is full time we have been beaten by Arsenal maybe it was the wrong decision but we should have won that and I'm not too happy with the boys I still think it might be the right decision to actually go and come off the press a little bit and to conserve energy for the next month or so as we look towards the final part of the season it's a disappointing a very very disappointing result the next game will be against Chelsea in the FA Cup fourth round the game has finally made its mind up we will need to get the boys ready for that for the weekend and before that the transfer window will close in an hour there has been no movement in the transfer window and I'm not expecting anything to happen now 
because it's just far too late to get any paperwork done. We need to bounce back. We need to play well against Chelsea. So we'll be right back just before the kickoff. And so today in the FA Cup fourth round against Chelsea, the team is very rotated. We have not recovered very well despite being rested. And it's time to bring in some different players now. And so we've got Prescott in goal with Muntin, Raguin, Matic and Plantier at the back. Pasquale, Puk and Thomas in midfield. Zapropoulos, Matic and Neil will play up front. I think that this might be the time when we leave the FA Cup behind us as well. And that will not be a bad thing. It's time to focus on retaining the Premier League. I've known that all along. All these fixtures are just getting in the way. Pasquale seems to go into every game very aggressive. And we should be winning this game. We are at home. We've gone back to the 4-1-2-2-1 because I believe it's the right thing to do against Chelsea. And I hope that, again, I've made the right decision. It's a tactic that should put pressure on Chelsea. We're a better team than Chelsea now and we should be winning this game. And Chelsea, though, are coming forward and they're looking very dangerous in the early exchanges. But we have won the ball. And here is Thomas. Thomas, who hasn't actually played for a while. He's been injured. He's been in and out of injuries. And there's Matic. Matic, Neil, controls that beautifully. Finds Zaprapoulos. Zaprapoulos exchanges with Neil. And we have a chance. And Zaprapoulos has taken... The opportunity with first opportunity on goal in the whole game. A beautiful one two between Zaprapoulos and Neil. And it's Norwich one, Chelsea nil. Beautiful control by Neil. The pass was a little wayward. He took it down and then a lovely passing sequence. Beautiful goal. But we've been ahead before. We were ahead against Arsenal and lost the game. We're going to have to try our best to hang on to this. Chelsea are very tired too. We did notice that, but no more tired than we were. And I think it's the right thing to do to rotate the team. I'm hoping that Prescott doesn't make too many errors today as our backup cup goalkeeper but we do have the ball again and Plantier is bursting down the left was he taken out there referee the referee is going to check VAR I thought he was taken out Plantier is making the most of it over there I think it's probably going to be awarded the ball was taken by the second Chelsea player but the penalty is not awarded that looked like a stonewall penalty to me and the the time luckily though we don't have Wilden or Fernardi on the pitch so who would have taken that penalty I don't know but we are dominating this game as we should be against Chelsea we're a better team than Chelsea and at the moment it's still Norwich 1 Chelsea nil. and let's get this second goal let's build on this so that we can progress in the FA Cup at least passed outside but Chelsea have intercepted and we need to close them down, win the ball. And we have Zaprapoulos, who's having a storming game. Dribbles inside, looks for support, finds Pasquale. Pasquale, beautiful pass inside. And Matic is in. And Matic has made it 2-0. Are they going to check this for offside? I don't think so. I think the goal will count. It's Norwich 2, Chelsea 0. Are we going to get into the fifth round of the FA Cup? Chelsea, who have been fierce rivals they've dropped down the league a little bit their form has not been good and I think we are a better team than Chelsea at the moment for some reason a lot of their pacey players have left the club uh, they do still have pace but we've controlled them and we've dom dominated possession and I'm very happy with the boys for doing that I'm going to tell them to keep going you have the ability to make a difference and they're all looking very wound up. Nobody's playing badly. Let's go out in the second half and let's just take advantage of this. We've had all the match momentum. I'm going to be annoyed with FM if having had so much of the game, it then decides we can't win this. Chelsea have only created three chances. We've had all the play. 
And it is so going to be a Chelsea set piece. It's to the far post. It's headed away. Can we pick up the loose ball? No, we can't. It's coming out to Chelsea. We need to be vigilant. I need to tell the team to keep focused. I'm going to shout and tell them all to focus. It's time to make some changes. And so we have made our changes and with just 15 minutes or so to go we have taken the match momentum back but Chelsea are finishing the game stronger than we are but with only 10 minutes to go I remain confident now that we are going to see this game out and we do have an injury now. Fanadi has got himself injured. I don't have any more substitutes left. I'm going to put the full back on to support and we will just leave it at that. And hopefully we can just now see the game out. We'll step back to a balanced mentality. Just see this game out now. And we have progressed into the next round of the FA Cup. We have beaten Chelsea here by th two goals to nil. It was nice work. That means that we're not going to go into what I was thinking might be a period of poor form. We have progressed We've beaten Chelsea, a very, very nice result. And it has been a very interesting episode and we lost to Arsenal in the semi-final of the Caribou Cup. I thought we were unlucky there. Um, I thought it was just never meant to be. But we've bounced back. We've beaten Chelsea, one of our biggest rivals over recent years, by two goals to nil in the FA Cup. I will play through February now and we'll come back for the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 and we will play that game plus Middlesbrough in the Premier League. And that's it for this episode. If you are brand new to the channel and you like FM content and you love to see people suffer playing this game, you're in the right place. So why not do all that good stuff? Subscribe, like, watch, comment. You know the stuff. And help us to grow. Help us to support the British Heart Foundation. Whew, that's it for this episode. All that remains to be said now is take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.